with the backhand. Put your nose and eyes behind your glove. Everybody see that? So this is not behind my glove. I'm up here, the ball's down there. I gotta get my eyes and nose behind my glove. My glove has to be open. There's two eyes there. It's gotta be open to the ball. Here, okay? Too many guys are up here, flashingly. If I threw you a ball to play catch, would you catch it like this? No. No, you catch it. So I don't want you to catch it like that. Now you can, if it's gonna be an in-between hop, you can work through the ball, but see how that's open and low and, and it's just my elbow doing this. It's not coming from up here and then pushing down on the ball, okay? Open the glove, show the glove to the ball early and catch the ball as we move through it. We're talking double plays. This is what I saw. When we field the ball, what, what eye are we fielding it over again? Left. Our left eye. We're moving to our left. We're a third baseman throwing to a second baseman for a double play. I need to keep it on my left eye because I'm moving that way. I can't overrun the ball and have it be over here. Is my glove open to the ball? No, how am I gonna field it? Am I gonna do this? Right, that's too hard to do. My arm is getting super tight. Keep it to my left eye. Watch my footwork, just roll me one. I keep it left eye. When I feel the ball, as I bring it here, it's just one shuffle and I'm ready to throw. Everyone see that? One shuffle and throw. I bring the ball to the middle. I see some guys doing this, go ahead. I saw a couple of those. That's not gonna fly in a game. You think when a guy hits a ball and we've gotta get it around the infield quickly, we have time to take it and flip it up like this? No, bring it to the middle right here. Watch how I follow my throw, ready? Take it here. Everyone see that? Too many guys I saw do this. You feel the ball, right, left, go. I don't want you to rush back to line. You feel the ball, you shuffle, you throw, you follow, you turn, you wait. The ball gets shot. When that guy feels it, you just walk behind him. Nice and easy, right? You just gotta keep your eyes open. You can't throw the ball and do this because we're not gonna just wait for you to just lally get back to line. So just feel it, throw it, turn, look. Where's the next ball coming from? Okay, there it comes. He feels it, I go behind them. Everyone got that? Still, glove's gotta open earlier. Everyone got that? Everyone understand what that means, glove open earlier? The best fielders here open their glove the earliest. That is a common trend from everybody. The guys that miss the most balls, their glove isn't open. They're doing this in the last second, right? How's the ball gonna go in the glove if it isn't open? That make sense? It's impossible. The glove's gotta open early, okay? The earlier you have it open, the more I open it early. Oh, the ball takes a bad hop, even though in here it's not gonna bounce poorly. I just move my glove. Oh, go here. Got it. But if I'm like this, and I'm playing like this all the time, right? That's not, the ball's not gonna go in the glove. I saw too many guys, you're like, so you're getting ready, and then the ball's hit, and there's no movement. You gotta get hit the line. And you just catch it, and you're flat-footed. Your feet gotta be moving, I'm reading the ball. What am I trying to time up again? My left foot. So the ball comes out, I'm reading the ball, there it is. Everyone see how I tie my left foot up? Let me try it again. Now that's different than this. That's not gonna work in the game. I'm, I gotta go that way, right? So just standing here and just, oh, I feel the ball, all right, cool. It's the, we can't just feel it, we gotta throw it next. So I've gotta work my feet, no flat feet. We're just sitting here like this. Oh, how many times in the game is the ball going to be hit right to us? Never. And even if it's hit right to us, we're not just going to stand in the same place. I'm going to move. I might come in, I might back up. i got to work my feet like that. Everyone got that? So be light on your feet. Ready? Position. Boom. Light on my feet. Oh, time it up. Left foot. Okay? Let's say the back up, actually. We need to be lighter on our feet. And we've got to be able to move our feet quickly on the ground and off the ground quick. We can't play in field like this. There's still too many guys where your feet, you get close to the ball, you know, and it's like you're stomping on ants or trying to make wine with grapes. This is what it's like. 
if I'm an infielder, I gotta be able to go back, forward. Like, I'm old and I can do this. You have to be able to do it. When you get a ball, as I get into the ball, throw me a ball. See how my feet are light. I'm not coming in. Right? I see it on the backhand a lot. There's a backhand ball, it's like this. Right? I've got to be a big ball. See how they, if I got to come up through it, I go, oh, it's a big See how I'm close to the ground? What do you notice? One, I'm really out of breath. Two, my chest is forward. If I'm up here, I can't be, I can't make quick movements. I gotta be here. Chest forward. See how I'm always down like this? Right? Now I'm really old and out of shape. But when I make the rep, I'm low. I'm there. If I can get there, without doing any athletic activities for the last 10 years, you've got to be able to get your chest over the ball. Eyes behind the glove. Everyone got it? Okay. Now I need oxygen. What do you need to be a great infielder? Okay, let's talk about the mental game because this is such an important part of fielding, and a lot of people don't talk about this. If a hitter hits a ball 90 plus miles an hour, the ball's gonna travel about 90 feet in a half a second. When I catch when my left foot lands, I get to the right, I brace, I go. So I'm gonna bring the ball here as my right foot starts to go to my left. When I take the ball out of my glove, my fingers should be on top of the ball. I don't take it out like this. I don't take it out like this. I'm on top of the ball right here. But it's not just about fielding the ball again. It's about fielding the ball properly every single time. If you're just gonna wait for your team to practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you're just gonna wait to field at practice when your coach actually does fielding practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you think you're gonna get great fielding three to five balls in infield outfield, you're crazy. You've gotta field a lot. And so you've gotta field before practice, you've gotta field after practice, you've gotta be able to do it on your own. Don't just wait for somebody to say, let's go practice infield. Go grab somebody and say, let's practice infield.